Hello, this is a video on a bit of specialist and vintage and fairly rare uh, BT test equipment. So British Telecom in the UK, you know, a telephone company sell copper pair lines or slowly migrating away from selling copper pairs. Um, this is a bit of test equipment which you plug into the phone line and it will show you a graph of uh, the line and where it might have a disconnect or a fault. So it's a BT Tester 301C. This one was version or software version 1.02. So the thing is powered by just standard C cell batteries. And this one was manufactured at some point, probably well before 2004. and you get a nice adapter to plug into the British or uh, telephone socket, the BT telephone socket, and uh, then you can use little push pins to plug into the wires that you want to test, uh, the probes which go into the BT test box itself. And then take the other end of the test leads and plug it into the phone socket. In this instance, the line I'm testing is definitely broken. There has been copper theft and uh, a big chunk of the telephone line is missing and the line is not working for calls either inbound or outbound. So plug in the test probes which are now plugged into the telephone line and you should see that the plot on the screen changes. Um, shows uh, what looks a bit like a short circuit very close to the test unit, not really sure why. And you can see as I turn the gain up, there's a peak or a bump between the 0.5 and the 1 kilometer mark on that plot along the top of the screen, which is where the phone line was indeed broken. And then zooming over to it, where you can place the zoomed in section uh, on the, the bigger plot on the bottom of the screen shows it at 800 meters. If you look at my next video, uh, which will be about the BT JDSU uh, test unit, that's also where the JDSU identified the fault as being. Um, just the BT 301 C tester leaves a lot of uh, skill for the engineer to identify where the fault is using the graph rather than just saying that this is where the fault is. Hopefully this video has been interesting to you. It would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.